So it is the tis the season, as they say, which um, one of my friends on Facebook said, and I want to give her credit because I hate when people use my stuff and act like they made it up themselves. And I know that, um, you know, I mean, I'm not saying everybody does it, but people do it. And it's one thing if you don't remember who came up with it, but I remember and I would be uh, being a, you know, a jerk if I didn't. But anyways, you know, if if God wanted you to celebrate Jesus' birthday, his birthday would be in the Bible, the exact date. You know what I mean? And when you think about it, Satan took the the act of giving him gifts to giving you gifts. So everything is inverted in these pagan holidays. There's always a, a little bit of goodness and then you look underneath it and it's Nimrod's birthday and the Christmas tree is a phallic symbol. And um, it's like when I first started reading music when I was younger, I'd look at like the guitar tablature and it's upside down kind of hard to describe but when you put your fingers like this that's how a bar chord is made and Lucifer was a musician you know what I mean um, it's in the Bible I didn't make that up so when I would look at the tablature this would be one on the guitar and then you know like three but it would be right it would be three and one and it would be upside down and it would like make no rhyme or reason as a fifth grader. I said, well, why wouldn't it just look like it would, like if you were looking across to another guitar player? Well, because it's inverted. You know what I mean? Everything is inverted. It's like, you know, the shape of the earth. It's a ball. No, it's not. You know what I mean? It's rotating. No, it's not. You know, there's people up in outer space floating around um, helping your um, internet signal. No, they're not. You know what I mean? Um, everything is just a, a fucking um, inverted illusion and we've come to make this crazy um, pagan holiday ritual um, bullshit fest with all these like sometimes I listen to the you know I listen to some of the songs I forget what one I listen to um, I don't know if it was Joy to the World but the um, something I forget but I don't know, the lyrics were just like, if you really knew anything about the lyrics, were kind of like, if you've inverted them, they were talking about Lucifer coming. Not, you know what I mean? And this, the more we get along, you know, I was in the hospital for a couple of days and there were some Shriners um, hospital commercials on, right? And uh, I just can't stand these fucks. You know what I mean? I really, I'm sorry, I just can't stand them. And uh, every time I look at a famous person, the Shriners wear those red hats with the yellow, you know, like Ronald McDonald, you know, Shriners colors. And uh, with, the, with the sword and the Star of Turkey and all that stuff, you know, the Luciferian star. And uh, every time I look at somebody, it's like, that's famous. I could see them walking around with their hat on at their meeting with the bobble and the tassel on it. And, you know, it's just, uh, you know, and I remember being, listen, I remember being a child, being up in Niagara Falls at the Italian festival and there was the Shriners and they're riding around their little clown cars and doing, you know, their um, good works in front of everybody. And uh, I just remember thinking there's something creepy about this whole situation. There's something creepy about it. And I was probably five or six. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, with Christmas and, you know, just hearing the music. And, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a great, um, you know, it's great to spend time with your family if you got one. You know, and, you know, but I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not big on it. You know, I, I never have been a big I've never owned a Christmas tree in my in my entire life you know and it's like as a kid you celebrate Christmas and this that and the other thing but all this Disney wickedness and you know I was like watching some of these uh, shows um, these cartoons these Disney cartoons man holy shit man I don't know how parents 
I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, and, and we let them sit in front of this alien tech, this fallen angel technology. And, uh, you know, I just remember sitting there watching TV in the hospital going, I'm so glad that I gave this shit up about fucking 10 years ago. This stuff is worthless.